Hi everyone. In today class, I will explain about data types in Java. Then what is data type? Then what are the different data types available in Java? I will tell you each and every concept in detail. Then what is data type? The data type which defines type of data that can be stored in the variable and how much memory is required for it. Then that is called as data type. What data, what type of data to be stored in the variable? Then again, how much memory is required? Okay, which will take care by the data type. There are two types of data types in Java. Primitive data types. Another one is called non-primitive data types. Then in today's class, I will explain about only primitive data types. Then what are the primitive data types? The primitive data types which can hold the values of the data items. Then what about the non-primitive data types? It holds the reference of the memory location where the data object has to be stored which are also called as reference data types. Then we will concentrate on only primitive data types. Then I will explain each and every primitive data types in detail. Uh, let me tell you, there are different eight primitive data types are available in Java. The Boolean, Byte, then Character, then Short, Integer, Long, Float, then Double. Then what is the purpose to use these various data types? Boolean stores only true or false. Then byte, byte which stores only whole numbers and small integer values. Then character which can store the only single character. Then short integer also will be stored small integer values. Then integer which will store the integer values, the size has to be different. The long, if the size is larger, we will go for the long data type. Then float, if you want to store the decimal points, okay, float or double has to, has to be used, okay. Then what is the difference between the float and double? Here, after the decimal point, we will accept only six to seven digits, that is float. Then if after the decimal point, it will accept up to 15 decimal digits, then we go for the double. The range is also be different. The size is also be different. Then here, various size, the boolean data type is one bit then byte is only one byte that is called a eight bits then two bytes the character in java is two bytes okay the default values when variable is declared in the class itself which are the default values of those variables okay then 16 bits character short is also called the 16 bits the integer 32 bits bits means 32 bits means four four bytes four into eight 32 bits then like that long then float, then double. Then how do you find the range of the values for the various data types? Then in case of the boolean, you know that the true or false, there are two constants has to be supported true or false. In case of the byte, how do you find the range? Okay, no need to remember the entire range. This is the formula has to be used to find the range of the values has to be supported by the various data types. The eight bits, okay, eight bits means minus two to the power of seven, two, two to the power of seven minus one. Okay, if you calculate this one, that is the range of values has to be stored in the byte. Like that character, unicorn format. In case of the short, minus 2 to the power of 15. If you know the size, then you can easily know the range. Okay, this is 8, 16 bits, 2 to the power of my, two, minus 2 to the power of 15, 2, 2 to the 15, 2 to the power of 15 minus 1. Then which will get the range. Like that, then the range of values will be there. Okay, you can easily understand each and every range of data type. Then for example, here the example is also be given in case of the boolean data type byte their character must be included in the single quotes their short integer their integer their long l has to be included i will tell you next slide about these standards okay float value then double okay this is the way we can use the data types in the java then some important points you need to remember about the primitive data types for example in case of the numeric you can use like this int is a data type then score is a variable equal to 85 okay this is the valid variable declaration then boolean true or false do we do we, do, we don't use any double quotes for declaring these two numeric and boolean and this is called the boolean data type then character must be in single quotes when you assign the character when you use the character data type we must use the single quotes is like in a C. The long values, okay, how do you know that whether it is a long value or integer value? 
you must suffix it with a small l or capital l both are acceptable okay generally then here the value given then l okay which is represented as a long value okay how do you declare the float then you can uh, you must be suffixed with the small f or capital f which is represented as a float value okay this is the way we can declare a variable using data types okay this is the way we can uh, define the data types in the java for example is also be given here this is called as the data type integer is nothing but what data type then here the quantity is nothing but the variable then float total cost is declared as a float data type then equal to 10 into quantity quantity is also be given 10 then a system dot out dot total cost has to be displayed whenever you use the data types or for variable variable declaration you must know some coding standards okay here a nouns you look at the statement now starting with the low sorry to say lowercase letters then here it contains the multiple words then every word every inner word must start with a capital letter okay the type of casing is called camel casing for example you can show here mobile number two words the first word starts with the small then second one second word inner word starts with the capital letter it is only one word there is no capital letter is required here the two words the capital letter, uh, capital letter is required then here also two word capital letter is required then age is only one word the capital uh, capital letter is not required okay these are some of the coding standards has to be followed when you working with the java which are, which are very important for when you working in industry uh, i will show you the code okay this is the code has been written then i will go for execution then when you run it the output we got it i will change some piece of code i don't want to initialize the value over here then what is happened because local variable quantity may not have been initialized i will go for execution then what is the error has to be shown by the compiler yeah the variable quantity must might not have been initialized okay before using it okay whenever using that quantity you must initialize that value where accessing the quantity you must initialize the value that is the reason which shows an error okay if you declare the variable inside the class okay the default value will be taken if you variable if you does not initialize the value within the method okay it will not take the default value then it must be initialized okay for example if you initialize the value then the error will be removed okay this is the way you can use the data type concept in java if you have any doubt regarding this data type concept please ask me at any time through the comment thank you thank you all for watching my videos